How's it going everyone? In this episode, we're going to learn how to create a gallery using Flexbox. Now, I just want to mention before we get started that this is a Flexbox exercise. It's not a gallery exercise. So the way we create a gallery in this episode is probably not the way that you want to create it in a real, uh, real world website. Okay, so in a later episode, I will teach you guys how to create a real gallery where you can actually click on the images and then they pop up into a big format. But that's not going to be the focus of this lesson here. Now, if you can tell from my voice, I'm kind of sick right now. So I hope my voice won't go into puberty mode too many times throughout this video. Um, so I'm going to try and do my best to to not screw up my my, my talking. Okay. Um, so what I have here is this is actually the website that we created. Uh, some episodes ago where we created a front page that was mobile responsive and we created a uh, what do you call it? a cases page we could then open up a case page now I just took that website we created and again you can download it from the description from uh, my what do you call my patreon page if you want to or you can just go ahead and watch those previous episodes if you absolutely want to uh, follow that website specifically now, if you don't want to follow that specific website we created a few episodes ago, then it's perfectly fine just to set up a empty HTML document and then just, you know, create whatever we're trying to create inside the main text here without all this other stuff that we have inside the footer and the, the header and all that. So it's perfectly fine. You don't have to follow this website specifically. Okay. Um, again, this is just a Flexbox exercise. So just focus on the Flexbox part. Okay. Now, what I have in here is I went ahead and just copy pasted my um, cases page from inside the previous website. And I can actually show you guys how it looks like because if you go inside our, this is the website we built, uh, started creating some episodes ago. If I go to cases, you can see we have, let me actually click it there. We have these boxes in here that are not responsive because we didn't do that in the previous exercise. Um, but this is basically what the gallery is going to look like. Now there's going to be some differences because I do want the gallery images to go all the way to the width of the browser. So once we rescale the website using Flexbox, it's going to start shifting around the content and move the images down to the next line if there's no more space on it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the gallery page I created. Again, I just copy paste the cases file. And the only thing I changed was inside the main text we have, I removed the section tag. And instead, I just created a wrapper, which is a div that has the H2 tag, you know, the name of the actual page inside of it. Now, I did also give my H2 tag a class, so we can actually style it separately. And I went ahead and gave that class some styling inside the CSS file over here. Now, one thing you guys may notice is that I do actually have my HTML file on the left side and the CSS file on the right side. And this is something you guys can do if you have your files together. This is how we usually do it. Uh, I have my HTML file here, my CSS file up here. You can just drag and drop on the right side inside this text editor if you want to. And then you get this layout here, which is kind of nice, I think. So let me actually go down to where we have the gallery again. There we go. And let's actually go and scroll down to the main text here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I would like to set up the section that we are going to actually use in order to create these images that we want to see inside the website. So I'm going to create a section tag. And inside this section tag, I'm going to add a class. I'm going to call this one gallery links. I'm just going to copy paste from the H2 tag up here. And inside the section tags, I'm going to create an anchor tag, which is a link. The anchor tag is mainly used if you want to open up the images inside the browser in a bigger format, but like I said, we're not going to focus on that in this episode, but we still need to have the anchor tag. Okay. Inside the anchor tag, I'm going to create an image. Now we could do this in a bunch of ways, such as creating a dip box that has, that has an image as a background, but we're just going to focus on a completely regular image in this episode. Okay. Now inside the source tag, I'm going to link to an image that I do have inside my root folder. So this is the cases folder that we have. I can actually size this up a bit so you can actually see there we go and inside my images folder i do have an image of a mountain that is called gallery image.jpg so i'm just going to copy the name i can already tell i'm starting to sound really sick <laughs> i'm just going to paste it inside the source and make sure that i go inside my image folder and then the link to the image okay inside the alt tag we can say we have a gallery image or we could say an image of a mountain or something 
Um, in this episode, I'm just sort of going to copy paste what we have here a bunch of times underneath each other. But in a real example where you create a real gallery, you might want to change the alt tag description to match the image that you're actually linking to. I'm just going to copy paste the same image in this episode. So you can go ahead and switch them out if you want to. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and go inside my anchor tag here and give it a class. I'm going to set it to gallery dash IMG, which stands for image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste the anchor tag. So we have about eight of them, I think, because that would be a good amount to actually showcase inside the website. There we go. So now that we have eight of these, we basically did everything we need to do inside our HTML page. Now do remember when it comes to Flexbox, I'm going to apply it to the section tag here, meaning that this is going to be the actual Flexbox. And then all the items inside the Flexbox are going to be the items inside the Flexbox. Now do bear in mind that whatever styling we add to the item inside the Flexbox only affects the direct child of the Flexbox, meaning that we don't style the image using Flexbox, we style the anchor tag using Flexbox. Okay, if that makes sense. And the same thing goes for all the other anchor tags. It's only the first childs of the section. So the image tag here would actually be the second child of the Flexbox. Okay, so inside my gallery, you'll notice that we have our link to the H2 tag. I also created a, a what do you call a responsive media query in order to change the format when we scale it down to a mobile format. So I'm just going to go inside my style sheet, say we have a class, gallery links. And the first thing we need to do is declare this as a flex box. So we're going to say display flex. Then underneath here, I'm going to say flex dash flow. And then we can set this one to two different parameters. We're going to set it as a regular row. And we're also going to set this one to wrap. Let's actually spell that correctly. There we go which means that it's going to go ahead and take all the items and display them from left to right. And if there's no more room in one line, it's going to shove it down to the next line. Okay, so we get multiple lines inside our website. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and go down and create a new styling. So I can actually copy paste this like so. I'm going to change the link to gallery dash image IMG. And in here, we're going to go ahead and change a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to set a flex basis, which in this case, I, I think is the only thing we need to actually do to this specific gallery. And I'm going to set this one to something like, let's say 23%. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is going to be a margin because we do want to have some spacing in between the images. So I'm going to say margin. And I'm going to set this one to something like 20 pixels. Let's actually go ahead and see how it looks like inside the browser. So if I refresh, you can see that we do have some spacing. Now, I do think there's too much spacing in between the images. So we might actually change that back down to maybe 10 pixels instead. Going to go in here, refresh, and it looks a lot better. So what we need to do now is we need to actually tell the images how big they should actually be because we do have some images inside uh, the, you know, the, the links that we have here. So I'm going to copy paste the gallery image styling and say we have an image inside of it. And then I'm going to set the width to 100%. So it's 100% width of the anchor tag. Okay, so it rescales together with the flex box. I'm going to refresh. And there we have it. Now, there's another thing you guys will notice because we do have more spacing on the right side than we do on the left side over here. So in order to fix that, we need to uh, change the, uh, what do you call it, the position of all the different elements when it comes to the horizontal axis. So if we were to go back up to our container here, we're gonna say justify content, and then we're gonna set it to center. Save it, go back inside the website, refresh. And now you guys will notice that we do actually have content going, uh, what do you call it, in the center of the website. So if we were to rescale it, you can actually see that it actually rescales with the website. And if I keep scaling down, it does actually shift when I do scale it. Now we do have one issue here though, because you may notice that uh, the images also scale with the actual website. And that's because right now we did actually set the gallery uh, dash image to a percentage. And in some cases, this might be the effect that you want to have inside a gallery because it sort of scales with the views. So you don't have two big images inside the website, but let's actually go ahead and change this from percentage to 
something like pixels. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say we have 300 pixels in width. Now, do bear in mind that uh, the image down here will scale the height according to the width. So we don't need to do anything about that. So if we were to go ahead and save it, go back inside the browser, refresh, you get this a different effect, which I think is a lot better when it comes to a gallery. And the cool thing about this is that it does actually change if you were to even go down on a cell phone. Now, if this is what you want to see, where the image is this size, for example, on a mobile phone, then you're practically done. But let's actually go ahead and change this out inside the mobile format. So we do actually have a full width image once we do actually go down to the mobile. So what we could do is simply copy the gallery image here paste it inside the media query, and then say we want to change it back to a, a percentage inside the flex basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we want to have something like 90%. We don't need to do anything about the margin, I do believe, so I'm just gonna remove that. I'm gonna go back inside the browser, refresh, and once I do actually get down to mobile format, you will notice that it doesn't change yet, and that is because we did actually change it the wrong place, we do actually need to have this styling up here because this is the mobile format. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. Now we do actually need to have the margin. That was probably a way quicker way to do this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna shift these around. I'm gonna place down here. There we go. So now let's actually go ahead and refresh. And now you guys will see that we have a different size that does actually uh, fit with the browser once we're inside mobile format. So if you have different mobile screens with different sizes, then it will always be 90% uh, of the width. Once I do go up to a desktop format or tablet format, it's gonna change into this regular view again, which is really nice. So this is how we can use Flexbox inside something like a gallery. And in a future episode, we will actually learn how to create a real gallery because if I were to just click an image, you can see nothing happens because I do actually have what you call hashtag on all the uh, links here. We could, I do believe, just link to the image, like so. Refresh the browser, and then we'll actually open up the image inside a different page. Now this is not something that opens on the same page, so we can't actually exit the image or anything. We do actually need to click back in order to do that. So I hope you guys sort of figured out how to do this based on this tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to say thank you to all the people supporting me on Patreon. If you're interested in extra benefits, such as lesson materials, then go ahead and visit the link that you see on screen here, and I'll see you guys next time.